Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's enjoying their day. I just wanted to come in and share a few current projects that I'm working on. And all of these projects are either Christmas gift ideas or just some stuff that I'm doing for some um, swaps that I have coming up. So these are some tags that I've packaged up that I've made for the last 11 months with Miss Paige and Miss Peggy. And I post my videos on the 10th of every month. I'll include the videos, um, some of the videos to the tags that I've made so far. But I wanted to package some of these up to give to family. And I used the My Favorite Stamps Treat Topper Die. And this is what it looks like. These little things that I have right here on these packages are from the 2x2 two two cards that I recently hauled from Tuesday morning. And they also have these at um, the Dollar Tree. And they just pop right off. And there's a Dollar Tree snowflake in the back. And then this is just a chipboard um, sticker from one of those Mambi packs. And then that's how I package them. I have three tags of each one. Here's the other one that's also a little piece from a two by two card and some stickers. And it does have that layering piece that you can pop up on the top of that. And then here's another, that's the back. The next few things I wanted to share are some toppers that I created. And these are all doodle bug sort of inspired. So here's one of the first ones. This llama sticker comes from a sticker pack that I hauled from Home Goods. These are just some hard enamel dots and I have a jingle all the way word popped up on a piece of craft paper. These are, are the sticko stickers that I use all the time. And this die is the Rick Rack Topper Treat Topper die from Jaded Blossom. Here are a few other of the Rick Rack Toppers. That little tree also came from that Home Goods pack. There's a snowflake sticker and that's some of the ephemera from one of the Doodle bug odds and ends. That's another one with the snowman across the front. Here's one with one of the bigger ephemera pieces on the front with one of those snowflakes from Walmart. I hauled that last year. And those are some of the knickknacks from Hobby Lobby. Here's another. That's one of those Target dollar spot stickers from last year. Some enamel dots. And then some little enamel dots and just some stickers in the background. Then here is another with some of the doodle pops some snowflakes and just use it on some solid cardstock. Here are the next set of little toppers that I created. This topper die came from an online store and I used some glossy accents and some of that diamond dust around the edge of these. These are some felt stickers that came from Paper Studio and that's just a foam sticker. I think I got that one from Joann's with some enamel dots. These little ribbon bows that I have on all these are the little recollections ribbon bows that you can get from Michaels. But a lot of people have been finding those in a Tuesday morning as well. So that's my next set of toppers here is one using the my creative time little topper and I just have some stickers a little ribbon bow and some enamel dots on that one and those are fairly simple just because the paper was really busy and then here are two using the Avery L treat topper die I just have some stickers and some of that gold embroidery thread on those and one thing I wanted to share that um, once I make all this stuff I stored in one of those photo boxes but to keep it fresh I use these little ephemera cutouts, so just a scrap piece of paper, and I put some of the um, essential oils on it. This one has peppermint on it, so all of my Christmas items will have like a peppermint scent to them. And when I've been sending out happy mail, people couldn't figure out um, what was in the box that made it smell so good, and this is what I've been doing. It's a lot cheaper because you can get a nice size of the essential oils from like Walmart in any um, different scent. I just happen to use peppermint because that's what I had on hand. I also have it in the lavender and I just put it on little ephemera pieces and drop it in my Happy Mail packages. Next little tag I wanted to share is a male inspired gift tag and that's how it looks. The little die here on the front with the vest, the pockets, the little tie is a die that I got online and this is what it looks like. Let me turn down my light. That's what it looks like. So what I did was cut the front part of the vest out in plaid with the little pockets and the tie in black. And then I just cut the back piece of the vest out in white so it'll look like a shirt. And then I have the inside of it in plaid. This little tag here that I have it connected to comes in a pack like this. And I also got this from um, an online store. And what I did was to connect my tags. This is the second one that I created. But initially when I made it, I took this top piece of the tag and tried to um, connect the two pieces. But then I was concerned that this wasn't strong enough to hold it. 
So what I did, and you can see it doesn't stay down very well. Um, I used a piece of like um, acetate paper. It's like a film that I have. I got, you can't see that, but that's the film. I got this from the fine art section at Michael's and it's a 0 .005 clear film. And that's why you can't see um, the pieces that connect together because I have the clear film behind this back piece and then in the front of this tag. So I just made this tag regularly. I stuck the film behind this first piece and then I stuck the film behind the back of this little vest and that's how I got that on there. I think these will come out really cute once I figure out how to keep this down. I'll just probably put it under a book or something. And then I'll um, put my sentiment and my little two from on the inside. But I love how these turned out. So the next things I wanted to share are these little treat huggers, little note cards. They have the little arms here in the front. Right, let's see it better on this one. They have the little arms here on the front where you can put something there. On the sample picture, it had him holding a present. So I didn't cut that out because I wanted to put something more dimensional here. And then you have these little holes built in if you wanted to put something there and then tie it on. And he also has a little place on the picture. It showed him holding a candy cane, but I'm not sure what I'm going to put on there. And it has the little holes there on the inside. So I'll probably put a sentiment or something here to hide those holes and then tie something here in his hand. And then I have some something dimension on there so the ones that I've already embellished look like this this is the first one this is my little lady she has on her pearls and those are some of the paper studio gemstones they come in a pack that looks like this I put one of these little gift um, bag stickers on there and those are from recollections I got those last year and then I put one of those little bowls from my stash and then on the inside, I'll put a sentiment here, and then I'll have her holding a piece of candy or something there. And then this is what the male one looks like. He's brown. He has a shopping bag as well. I put him a little bow tie on, and then that's the inside where I'll put the sentiment there, and then I'll have him holding something there. And what I'll do is probably string it through and then put the bow on the front of whatever it is I have him holding. And I love how these two came out. I just have a few more I need to embellish. The last thing I wanted to share are some of these little snowman cards that I'm working on. This is a Lori Whitlock bobblehead design. She does have several other, other designs, but I chose this one because I wanted to do these for Christmas. The file has a print piece like this. So you print this out and then you print the head out and then you put the little bobble thing on there to make the head move. What I did was just um, pop mine up a little bit. And then I put some glossy accents on the eyes, the mouth, and the little buttons on the body. This background paper is from the North Pole Gazette. This is the Hot Buy paper pad that came out this year from Michaels. And then on the inside, I just finished it off with the white frame. I also finished the back. This scallop piece right here is a part of the file and it does come with a card. I just downsized mine and just cut out my own card base out of 110 pound cardstock. And the other one is exactly the same. I just changed out the background. And this paper also comes from the North Pole Gazette. And that's all I have to share in this current projects video. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.